we have a lot of laughs here at The Daily Show. But comedy isn't just about jokes. It's also about being polite and respecting authority. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems that some comedians, like Michelle Wolf, don't understand that. Now, if you're new to the show, Michelle Wolf used to be a writer and contributor here until last December, when she left to go host her own show on Netflix. And at the time, I was very, very happy for her, but that was before last weekend. President Trump calling for an end to the White House Correspondents' Dinner. This personal jab at White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders seated on stage. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts. And then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> Since when has it been okay to make cheap jokes about a woman's appearance? So incredibly disrespectful. It was shameful. It was disgusting. I thought the language was filthy. It was really over the, over the line, X-rated. It's a complete disgrace that there mm -hmm. wasn't a single person on the dais that interrupted that woman as filth was coming out of her mouth. Yeah, why didn't someone stop that woman? Like, Michelle roasted these people so hard that they wanted police protection. She's like, why isn't the Secret Service jumping in front of those jokes? <laughs> but it's not funny. Because Michelle should have had the decency not to comment on women's appearances in any way, shape, or form. She's a comedian, for God's sake. Not the president. Donald Trump on the defense after attacking Carly Fiorina, telling Rolling Stone, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? Trump is under fire for how he treated 1996 pageant winner Alicia Machado. She weighed 118 pounds or 117 pounds, and she went up to 160 or 70. So this is somebody that likes to eat. She said I made inappropriate advances. You take a look. Look at her, look at her words. You tell me what you think. I don't think so. I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. You see, now that's how you insult a woman's face. <laughs> Michelle's joke was about how Sarah Sanders creates makeup out of lies. You know, when Trump's insulting women, he just says, fat, ugly face. And none of that smart comedy with layers of meaning, just insults. That's why you don't send a woman to do a man's job. Just get to it. <laughs> and look, I know that comedy is hard to analyze and set rules for, but Trump's people get it. Joking is no excuse if a comedian is insulting the president. It's only an excuse when the insults are coming from the president. Trump insists that he wants to call Obama the founder. He is the founder of ISIS. I think the title that he gave, Founder, was the, the point of sarcasm. Donald Trump made that comment tongue-in-cheek about going and getting her emails. The entire world knows the president is kidding. The president certainly uh, never implied that the Secretary of State was not uh, incredibly intelligent. He made a joke, uh, nothing more than that. Maybe you guys should uh, get a sense of humor and try it sometime, oh. but um, he simply made a joke. Exactly! Get a sense of humor, snowflakes! <laughs> now, get out of the way. We have to put up this plaque in memory of the brave people roasted to death by Michelle Wolf. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. <laughs> so, listen, I, I agree completely with President Trump and his team. Comedians should be held to a higher standard than he is. Which is why, even though Michelle Wolf left for her new show four months ago, tonight I'm announcing that I'm officially firing her. You hear that, Michelle? You're fired. <laughs> We'll be right back. Fire!